It's Wayne Belcher with United Professional. We're in the SR99 Seattle Tunnel. We are fire stopping the transverse joints with 3M 1003 self leveling. Right now, I'm going to demonstrate how to load a bolt gun safely and effectively and cleanly. I'm going to tap it into the material to make sure that I have a good seal. And then I start to draw a little, then tap, draw. Tap, I want a good seal. I don't want air in the in the barrel. Tap, tap. As you can see, I'm near the bottom of the barrel. I just filled the barrel. Now I'm gonna hold it so I don't lose material. Bring it up, put the cap on. You see I haven't made a mess all over the gun. Use my cat tool to clean off the excess. I'm going to take the air out slowly. And now I'm ready to go. Thank you. My name is Wayne Belcher. I'm in Rosenberg, Texas, wet sealing a curtain wall. So I thought I would show you how we use these Albium tools to do that. We've already prepped the sill of the curtain wall, and now we're going to shoot it with uh, the Albium uh, cordless battery operated gun. So here's how we do it. Again, my name is Wayne Belcher. We are wet sealing this curtain wall. We're about to put some materials from Dow Corning 795 into our Albium 18 volt battery operated gun. So here's how we open this. Watch this. Just as easy as that. Pop that in. Put our cap on. And we're ready to go again. Well, hello again, this is Wayne Belcher again from Rosenberg, Texas. We have just shot the sill of our curtain wall that we're wet sealing. I'm now going to take some of the stainless steel cat tools by Albium, and I'm going to show you how to tool that material effectively so we get good adhesion. Nice and smooth. Looks nice and pretty as if it was taped. This tool effectively draws the lines nice and straight. Puts the sealant exactly where we want it. 